Malit Chechere and welcome to the special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. ESA's Sentinel-2A satellite for the Copernicus program, which was launched from French Guiana last June 23rd, has now received the green light to open its data to all users. We created a short story to tell you about its life, from its birth to what it has become today and what it can give us tomorrow. Let's go take a look. June 23, 2015, Sentinel-2A satellite was launched on a Vega rocket from Europe's spaceport near Kourou in French Guiana. Following the Sentinel-1A radar satellite last year, Sentinel-2A is the second satellite to be launched for Europe's Copernicus program. Immediately after liftoff, the satellite entered into what is called the launch and early orbit phase. Once the satellite separated from the launcher, one of the first priorities was the deployment of the solar panels, so that the satellite is powered independently, as well as other essential checks. Once this first phase was over, operators embarked commissioning the mission. This is an important process that makes sure the satellite, its multispectral imaging instrument, data acquisition and data processing procedures are all working well. During this phase, the first swath of data from Sentinel-2 was received. It recorded a long strip reaching from the North Sea well into the African Sahara. These data also covered the Po Valley, framed by the Alps in the north and the coastal mountains of France and Italy in the south. This first data already showed the high resolution and level of detail expected from the mission. Sentinel-2's 290-kilometer wide swath, which is much wider than any other satellite in this resolution class, allows any part of Earth's surface to be revisited frequently. This wide swath and frequent revisit times, along with the high spatial resolution and advanced multispectral imaging capabilities, makes this mission so extraordinary. This all means that users will be able to see changes in vegetation health and growth, for example, with unprecedented accuracy. With the satellite in orbit commissioning phase now complete, Sentinel-2A was confirmed ready for its operational life. From now on, it will deliver essential information for the Copernicus land service. Where does it go from here then? This new satellite mission conceives a fresh generation of operational products. It can distinguish between different crop types and will deliver timely data on numerous plant indices, such as leaf area index and chlorophyll content, which are essential for precision farming. Its high revisit times will allow the fast-growing season to be monitored accurately. It supports important areas of benefit to society, such as food security. Frequent coverage is also key to monitoring disasters, such as floods, volcanic eruptions and landslides, so the mission is set to play an important role in times of crises. Through the Copernicus Land Service, users will have access to information about changes in land cover to those areas that have been damaged by fire, for example, or affected by deforestation, and be monitored. This multi-talented mission also provides information on pollution in lakes and coastal waters. However, the mission has already shown that it can also image algal blooms out in the ocean in magnificent detail. So although it was essentially designed as a land monitoring mission, it will also find its way into coastal and shallow water applications. With so much to still be expected, Sentinel-2A will certainly deliver, only to be improved when its twin satellite Sentinel-2B will be launched in about 12 months' time.